Do you like scents? There are so many different scents these days that it's hard to choose what to use. Korean old ancestors were with incense, too. Not only for religious purposes like Buddhist rituals, but also for everyday use. There is a mountain named Baksin, and the shape of the mountain is like a lotus flower, so it was named after the shape of the incense burner. There is a prop at the bottom. It features mountains. Seas, waves, fish, and dragons, and contains boiling water to spray the scent on clothes. The scent of the long stick that we see now is called Sian Hyun. Sian Hyun does not appear until the late Ming Dynasty of China. Previously, ashes were laid inside the incense burner, and Hyun a charcoal for burning incense, was placed on top of it with a stamp shaped Hyun Jin, or a bead shaped He Ang Kwan. The history of this incense goes up to BC but in Korea, it is estimated that Buddhism was introduced during the Three Kingdoms period. When it comes to incense burners, which contain Hyeongtan and Hyeongjan to burn incense, I guess many of the Korean cultural properties think of great gilt bronze incense burner of Bikyu. Because he's with us, with such an outstanding figure it's also the best example that incense burners don't just have the functional aspect to burn incense. You can see that it also has an artistic side that decorates the space and takes care of the user's visual satisfaction. In order to make these decorative incense burners, animals were also used as materials. It increased its value by using ducks, lions, giraffes, and dragons. Celadon incense burner with lion-shaped lid, which we will be looking at today, is also a lion-decorated incense burner. In Korea, the incense burner decorated with lions was excavated from Anapchi Pond, Gyeongju, during the Unified Silla period. This is a galmatolite lion-shaped incense burner, lived. It is excellent to see him sitting upright with his front legs straight open, like his mouth is wide open. Unfortunately, only the lid of the lion's incense burner was found. I think it's similar to the talc lion-shaped incense burner excavated in Henan province, China. Later, in the Gorgio dynasty, the value of celadon sword and incense burners began to be made of celadon. And that's why we have this brilliant guy like celadon incense burner with lion-shaped lid. The lower part of the body of the incense burner has three legs decorated with the face of the beast, and the body is engraved with cloud patterns. On the upper side, there's an edge, the jinn, and on the upper side, there's also engraving of the clouds. On the side of the lip, flowering plant patterns are engraved, and on the step part of the upper surface, yoido patterns are engraved. The lion sitting on the lid of the disc looks a little different from the unified Silla Leone, excavated from an Upji pond. The nose, which is lifted like a wild spear nose, seems to be expressed a little larger. And the eyes are expressed in underglaze iron. The ears are low, the mane is slightly protruded and expressed in a spiral in tablio. But it also looks like a perm. The tail is extensively represented and attached to the back in an S shape. The open mouth, which is closer to the ear within the roar, also has detailed teeth. And the incense smoke from the body of the incense burner comes out through this mouth. What's interesting is that he has a bell around his neck, and he's holding a jewel with one front leg. This is also an expression that was not seen in the lion-decorated incense burner of the previous era. It also appears in China during the Song dynasty, which is in the same era as the Gorgio dynasty. If you look at the lion, it's not the center of the lid, it's leaning to one side. It is interpreted that this is aimed at the formative effect that comes from visual changes, or it is also interpreted as slipping while using glaze. When sculpting a lion and attaching it to the lid, I want to vote for the latter. In any case, this guy is considered an outstanding guy made in the 12th century, during the high day of Gorgio, Celadon. It is a lion decorated incense burner that emits a beautiful color, but the first data on where it was excavated and how it was obtained are not disclosed.
Gaesong was the capital of the Gorgio dynasty, and the Japanese of Japanese colonial era, who loved Korean pottery, could not have let it go. A Japanese scholar lamented, saying, the mountain near Gaesong looked like a beehive. During this period, a large amount of Gorgio Celadon came out into the world. Somehow, this guy, who was in the Gaesong Museum during the Japanese occupation, was designated as treasure number 333 in 1939 in recognition of his value. The Korean War broke out shortly after the liberation in 1945, but the two Koreas were divided based on the 38th parallel. At that time, the major cultural assets of Gizong, which were located south of the 38th parallel, were led by Kim Jae-won, the first director of the National Museum, and left Gizong for refuge. The Celadon lion-shaped lead incense burner will also be safely transferred to the temporary capital government building in Busan. After the Korean War, he was moved to the National Museum of Korea in Jongdong, Sudaemun Gu, Seoul, and was designated as National Treasure No. 60 on December 20, 1962, and is now housed in the National Museum of Korea in Yongsan Gu. This guy who was hiding his dynamic past as much as his outstanding appearance. If you come to Korea, why don't you take your time to see the National Treasure Celadon, incense, burner, with lion-shaped, lead, at the National Museum of Korea? If you liked the video, please subscribe and like it.